Hi, my name is Chris. This is Jen will be our patient. And I'm Allie. And we're going to be discussing and demonstrating tibial torsion using the thigh foot angle. So when would it be appropriate to look at the thigh foot angle for tibial torsion in a pediatric patient? Well, if the patient is displaying in-toeing or out-toeing as you're looking at their gait, it would be appropriate. So with in-toeing, as Jim will demonstrate, their toes are pointed in. And with out-toeing, their toes are pointed outwards. Thank you, Jim. So with the thigh foot angle, the way that you look at this is by placing the, the patient in prone with their knee flexed, and you measure with the goniometer the angle between the longitudinal axis of the femur and the longitudinal axis of the midline of the foot or the third digit. And this will allow you to assess the degree of internal tibial torsion or external tibial torsion that the patient is displaying. Now, Ali will demonstrate this. All right, Jim, I'm gonna have you get down on your stomach, please. Now, obviously this isn't a child, um, and he has a little bit of in-toeing when he normally walks, but in a normal child, this would be kind of an excessive in-toeing or out-toeing where you would wanna do this. Uh, so like Chris said, we're going to get your patient into 90 degrees of knee flexion and then we're going to have the axis of the goniometer on the bottom of the heel and the stationary, stationary arm bisecting the femur. And then the moving arm is going to come down, bisect the foot on the third toe. So. Jim here is at nine degrees of internal torsion. So there are normative values for these. Um, first, internal torsion when you're documenting is represented as a negative number and external is um, external tibia torsion is measured as a positive number. So at birth, kids are born with their toes in. That's about a negative 15 degree internal torsion. Uh, standard values of these do range though from negative 30 to positive 15. So as a child continues to develop at age three, they go from in-toeing to a little bit of external torsion. Uh, it's about plus five and that ranges from negative 10. So they still can have internal torsion to positive 20. At mid-childhood, uh, it's about positive 10 degrees of external torsion but there is a range and it's from negative five to positive 30. Uh, so if you are doing this with your patient and the internal torsion, their toe, their toe would be in like that. And then external torsion, out toeing their toe, their foot would be out that way. So you can see that there'd be different angles based on the direction of the foot. And according to Dutton, with internal tibial torsion, it typically will improve, but that improvement will occur slowly. So some possible treatments you may use um, to help this is you can prescribe the child a Dennis Brown bar or Friedman counter, counter splint, which they can wear at nighttime for about six months. Um, and if your patient is displaying this in-toeing or out-toeing, which can be um, seen as well when you're measuring the thigh foot angle and it's falling outside of those those standard ranges, if that occurs, it may also be appropriate to refer the patient to an orthopedist. Thanks.